Dear student, this is the theorem number one of the subset of normal distribution. Subset of normal distribution. Up subset kya the here. Let the random vector a is normally distributed multivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu and variance covariance matrix sigma. Then all subset of x are normally distributed. That is, if a partition of x is mean vector mu and the variance covariance matrix sigma. Partition of x. Here the x, the dimension of the x which is equals to pain to 1 and the subset of x is the x1 and the x2. The dimension of the x1 which is equals to q into 1 and the dimension of x2 which is equals to p minus q into 1. Now here x is a vector with p into 1 dimension. Now the x1, x2 up to so on, x, q. The first subset x, q. How many dimension? Q dimension. And the other value of the x, q is the x, q plus 1 up to so on, x, p. This is the p into 1 dimension. So total हमारे पास कितनी होगी dimension p into 1, p rows and 1 column. This is the 1 set, this is the second set. So first set की हमारे पास dimension कितनी है? q, q rows into 1 column. Second set, second set की dimension क्या है? p minus remaining upper p minus q. How many? column which is equals to 1. This is the subset. The first subset ki dimension q into 1. Second set ki dimension p minus q into 1. Is the se ye develop hua Where mu is the dimension of p into q and the mu 1 q into 1 and mu 2 p minus q into 1. And the variance covariance matrix sigma, this is the variances and this is the covariances. Now the x1, this is the x1, is distributed at multivariate normal with mean vector mu and variance covariance matrix sigma 1 1. This is the statement of the theorem. Now here the proof, let, ab let humne kya kiya hai? C, C hamare paas basically kya hai? Known of the, C is the, known of the matrix, known hai iski values. Or dimension ki itni hai? Q into P. Or humne isko let ki hai? This is the identity matrix. And this is the zero matrix. Ab ye identity ka hai? Zero ka hai? Kyunki C ki kitni dimensions hai? Q into P. So, X1, X2, up to so on, XQ. And other Q humare paas kya hoga? X, Q plus 1, up to so on. Now next, x, 1q, x, 2q, and the other x, q, q. Ye matrix. This is the matrix. Or ye matrix ko humne kya hai? This is the identity matrix with how many rows and column? Q rows and Q column. This is the identity matrix jo hum let kar rahe. Or other than this, wo sare humare paas zero ke equal hai. So this is the C, Q into P dimension, identity matrix, and remaining Q, with zero. So that the Z which is equal to C into X, so humne kya ke Z which is equal to C into X, and we know that the value of C into X, X previous aapko define hai, X1, X2. Now identity multiplied by x, so x1 vector. 0 multiplied by x2, 0. So the z is follow the multivariate normal with mean vector mu and variance covariance matrix C sigma C prime.
So C mu which is equals to C which is equals to identity and 0 and mu 1 mu 2 identity multiplied by mu 1 which is equals to mu 1 0 multiplied by this. So C mu which is equals to mu 1. So C sigma C prime C which is equals to this sigma given a me and C prime rows ko column me convert kar diya wo aapke paas aage. Now multiply the these matrices identity multiply by C sigma 1 1 and multiply by identity which is equals to sigma 1 1. So 0 multiply by sigma 1 2 into identity kya hoga 0 then identity multiply by sigma 2 1 multiply by 0 0 0 multiply by sigma 2 2 into identity 0. So remaining humare paas iska finally result kya hai c sigma c prime which is equals to sigma 1 1 ye portion. So z is x1, z kyunki humne let kiya, which is equals to x1, is normally distributed, multivariate normally distributed with mean vector mu1 and variance covariance matrix sigma11 as required. This theorem states that all subset of multivariate normal are normally distributed. All subset means x1 agar follow kar hai, normal distribution ko, x2 हमारे पास follow कर रहा है multivariate normal distribution के तो हर factor उसका follow कर रहा है normal distribution को